In this video, I'm going to show you how to differentiate a trig function and also how to check it on your graphic calculator. <coughs> okay, so this is the trig function y is equal to uh, 2 sine, sorry, 2 cosec 5x. Okay, now here we have to use the composite rule or chain rule. You have to differentiate the inside first and then the cos. So dy by dx is so first differentiate the inside so differentiation of cos x sorry phi is phi so you already have it two sitting there so two times differentiating the inside gives you phi times differentiation of cosec is minus cosec x cortex so this will become minus cosec 5x i'm putting this in the bracket so that i can use the calculator times cot 5x. Now how to check, so let us simplify this a little. So, so dy by dx is minus 10 cosec 5x times cot 5x. Now in NC exams or in any examination, so if you have, if you can use a graphic calculator, if you're allowed to use a graphic calculator, on a graphic calculator you can check whether the derivative is white. So this is how I do it. So first let me do without the so dy. I'm saying what is you take any arbitrary point which is defined. So cosec is the reciprocal of sine. So sine cosec is not defined at zero. So I'll take one. So I'm asking the question what is the derivative at x is equal to one. Now this is in radians. Okay. Always calc when you're differentiating a trig function it's always in radians. So it's one radian. Okay, so that's whatever degree it is. So I will say that will be minus 10 uh, cosec phi times cot phi. Now this is nothing but 1 minus 10 times 1 divided by sine phi. Mm, let me put this in the big bracket times 1 divided by cot phi. Okay, so I will do without the calculator. Of course, I will have to use a calculator too. So, get the calculator out. Okay, so this is um, when you run, so you can use this in a simple electronic calculator. Minus 10 times bracket 1 divided by sine phi, I think it works that way, times 1 divided by Oh, this will be 10, not cot is a reciprocal of 10. So divided by 10 phi. I made a mistake there. So minus 3 point, minus 3.08. Okay, so let me write that. So this, let me correct this. So this is 10. Oh, this is, this is cot phi. Okay, so this is 1 divided by 10 phi. And we got minus 3 point, so let me remember minus 3.08. So minus 3.08 is the answer. Minus 3.08. Now I'll show you a very cool way of checking this on a calculator. The calculator will work this out for you. So go to option menu and go to F4, which is calculus. And this is d by dx. What was our function? What our function was? 2 cosec 5x, so you can write like this, 2 times 1 divided by sine, I'll put this in the bracket, 5x, okay, and I'm asking, give me the derivative at 1, so I'll put a comma there, 1, and then close the bracket, hopefully it will work, yeah, here we go, so you have the same answer, minus 3.8, you can see, you did this, uh, you can do this on a simple calculator. So we are confirmed that our answer is right. Okay, so let me do one more example. Differentiate this function. So let me use green now. Now here, yeah, it's always good to simplify a little. So this is x to the power half 
plus 2x minus 1 over x squared. So I'm going to divide all by x squared. So can I write like this? y is equal to x to the power half divided by x squared plus 2x divided by x 2x to the power 1 times x squared minus 1 over x squared. Okay, so now this becomes, so when you're dividing powers, you take away the exponent. So this is x to the power half take away 2 plus 2x to the power 1 take away 2 minus, this can be written as x to the power, so this is 1x to the power 0. Okay, so 0, so this is 0 minus 2. So I'm doing in more steps so that you understand. So this is y is equal to, so half take away 2. Okay, now 2 is 4 halves. So let me show that. So half take away 4 halves plus 2x to the power negative 1 minus x to the power negative 2. Okay, so we're almost there. So y is equal to x to the power minus 3 halves plus 2x to the power negative 1 minus x to the power minus 2. Now this has become a simple uh, power function. So you can differentiate by dropping this power and decreasing the power by 1. So you can say dy by dx is equal to, so drop the power down as minus 3 over 2, x to the power minus 3 halves minus 1, plus 2x to the power, no, it drop the power down, let me use smaller eraser, so this is 2 times minus 1, x to the power, let me delete this, this is annoying, okay, I need more space, so, 2 times minus 1 times x to the power minus 1 minus 2 minus, uh, you have to drop this down, so it's minus 2x to the power minus 2 minus 1, okay. So dy by dx, you're almost there, is equal to minus 1.5x to the power, so this is 2 halves, 1 is 2 halves, so minus 3 halves minus 2 halves is minus 5 halves. And this is plus 2 times negative 1 is minus 2 times x to the power negative 3. And this negative and negative will become plus 2 times x to the power. Oh, am I doing something wrong here? No, we are right here. Oh, yeah. So this is wrong. How I did it? Do my it has to be minus one. So minus one. Yeah, I was wondering why I'm getting the same exponent. So drop the power down and decrease the power by one. Yeah. Okay. And now, so this should be minus two. It's always good to check. Minus two and plus two x to the power minus three. This is perfect, but I would like you to simplify a little. It looks a bit tidier. So this is minus 1.5 over x to the power 5 halves minus 2 over x squared plus 2 over x cubed. So this is your final answer. You can check this on a calculator by taking any value of x as I have shown you in the previous uh, part when you are differentiating uh, 2 cos 5x. See you in the next video.